Raising the Roof is a celebration of the community music making and singing that takes place in Melbourne every week. The project came about as part of a, a celebration of Hamer Hall and Arts Centre Melbourne being a civic building and a place for everybody and a place for the community. Hamer posed the question, uh, how do we have an event in the Hamer Hall where the whole audience is involved and the whole audience sings? And then um, I started talking with Patrick Cronin about it and we sort of hint, hinged the whole idea on bringing a lot of disparate community music groups that get together to make music every week because they love doing it together and showcasing them and then, um, and then combining them into a new orchestra to play some sort of piece where the whole audience is involved as well. That was the sort of concept. They explained to me what they were going to do. It was so bold and so big and so incredible. Um, and I love the idea that maybe we were bringing in community choirs and community ensembles that have, would never have a chance to perform here. I mean, I've been performing for 25 years. I've never performed here. I didn't know about all these groups. And one thing for me was that, you know, just an awareness of all these different little groups that get together all the time. For us, you know, it's just seeing how other groups work and how they, how they perform on stage, the energy that they bring, especially the massive hip hop choir. You know, we're seeing them and the way they just they're just, you know, having so much fun on stage. There's so many more possibilities now that we have collaborated with other groups and I've been eyeing off the ukulele band. The, the Chinese orchestra, they came up to us and approached us about some ideas that they've got. That's the beauty of sort of community, local groups, um, which I feel is the concept behind this whole thing. It was very moving just to sort of think that all these people who don't, most of them don't know each other and yet we can still do music together. But we're all just presenting what we love and our art and our passion. And so it doesn't matter that they're different styles, they blend in because the spirit of it is still there. Places like Hamer Hall look so beautiful and look like maybe you need to dress up to come. Um, it's great to be able to say, well, no, you can also actually come here and relax and make noise. And Graham really wants to encourage that. There's audience participation in this. And I think it's about loosening, and you're doing the movement as well, loosening the place up a little bit, which, um, which is so exciting. All along I was thinking, yeah, well, I want to do all this stuff with the audience, but the audience is going to need support. The audience needs to have someone in amongst them that knows what's going on. In order to do that, though, we knew that we needed to work with a partner who could help us. So Community Music Victoria was the obvious place to go to. The fact that they came out to the regions and we did the workshops there was important for two reasons. One was because it enabled participation, but the other reason why it was good was because it brought the, the regional groups together. And Community Music Victoria is very um, keen on helping the networks to develop in the regions. So we want to see those people come together as often as possible and this facilitated that. So community singers, even though they've got a huge amount of talent, don't necessarily want to perform. So for us to be hugging the audience and singing with is exactly what our philosophy is. And that was addressed beautifully. Arts Centre Melbourne commissioned the piece. So without their sort of, um, their vision and sort of brave support of this project, it wouldn't be happening. Uh, I think it's fantastic that they've done this because it's certainly not your standard Art Centre show. Kind of deeper reaching projects that you work on with communities take more time. They have a much bigger impact than inviting people into one performance. And I think that we, you know, we touch people's lives in a, in a different way. But that means that people are working on a much longer um, term. So all of that makes for a rather expensive project, including um, having the venue for two days and all of the staff that will work on this. Um, so uh, the subsidy is, is critical. There's, the, you can't physically put a show on that costs this much money for the amount that you might take in the box office. I would hope that we can do more events like this where we really work on a deeper level with the community. I don't think that it's enough to put on a show and ask the world to come to it. Um, and I think for people who don't normally come here, the only way to work on bringing them in is to actually go and work with them, make sure it's something that they want to do, that they embrace, um, that, that means something to them, and then, and, then, and then bring them in and let them really feel like they've made the event and that they own it.